Hi everyone. Um, just wanted to share with you a little tip. Um, this is how I prepare my clay and resin pieces for glazing if you want to get a, a glossy finish. Um, I know a lot of people use different liquid mediums to glaze their their pieces and sometimes you have problems with bald spots and pulling away but you know this this is this works for me. Um, it works if you use nail polish, two-part resin, triple thick poly glaze, UV resin, any liquid. Um, I learned this years ago while working with polymer clay and found that it works equally well with cured resin pieces. Um, anytime you use a liquid substance to cover your smooth surface, it's going to want to pool in the low areas, drip down the sides because gravity works, pull away from the edges of the piece and back into itself, and it's going to pull away from the smoothest, shiniest parts of the piece. Um, the solution that I found is to sand the piece before applying the glaze. Uh, take a fine grit, wet to dry sandpaper of 1200 or higher and lightly sand the entire surface of the piece. If you sand underwater, which is best because it eliminates the airborne dust and you shouldn't be breathing that in, make sure your piece is bone dry before glazing and if you sand uh, if you dry sand, make sure to wipe all the dust off the piece before glazing and wear a mask. You shouldn't be breathing this stuff in. You can find the sandpaper in the auto section of Walmart or auto parts stores. It's used in auto body work. And some tool stores, uh, I get mine in Harbor Freight. Um, that's where I got my last batch and I got more sandpaper for less money in Harbor Freight. If you have a Hobby Lobby near you, they have it in the aisle where the model cars are. Um, it's a little more expensive, bring you 40% off coupon. <laughs> uh, I've, I found that the best glossy glaze for my smaller resin pieces is UV resin. Uh, unlike two-part resin, it's non-toxic, so I can apply it with my finger and rub it all over the sanded resin piece and then cure under a UV light or out in the sunlight and it's cured and ready in 15 minutes. No waiting for it to dry. You can, you know, you can work with the piece in 15 minutes with the UV resin. Um, it bonds really well with the piece. It's waterproof just like two-part resin is. It won't scratch off like nail polish will. It won't turn hazy if it gets wet or if you wear it out in high humidity, um, like the water-based glazes can, you know, I've been using a lot of these different glazes over the years, and you know, for a glossy finish, now I always use UV resin. There's a couple of them out on the market. Um, I have a bunch of the Lisa Pavelka Magic Gloss because I found it on sale and just stocked up on it. But there's also uh, Gel du Soleil um, and uh, other brands out there. You just gotta do Google searches to find it. UV resin. Um, I just, I love this stuff. I use it on everything. This piece has already been lightly sanded. This is, um, what is this? This is 3M, wet to dry, and this is 2000 grit. It's still, you know, it feels kind of soft, but that's good because you don't want to gouging out pieces of your, your resin and you don't want to make deep scratches. You just want to, you know, buff up the surface a little bit and it gives the glaze something to grab onto so it won't pull away and back into itself. So, okay, wipe that off. Okay, and I just take a little bit of the, the UV resin and put it on there and like I said, this stuff is non-toxic. Don't try this with the two-part resin, the stinky stuff, because you can get really sick. Okay, and I just buff it on with my fingers and you can see I was under the camera, sorry. Okay, dull, shiny. <clears throat> and the shiny part, even though it's wet now, the shiny part will stay that shiny. Oh boy, I'm getting a weather alert. Okay, anyway, <laughs> um, it'll stay shiny. You need a little bit more. It'll stay shiny after it's been cured. And I just rub it all around. And if I miss some spots, after it's been cured, I just add more, add another layer. You know, the sanding is an extra step, but to me, it's worth it to make a really nice finished piece. It doesn't take that long. And this one is ready. It's ready to go under the UV light. 
I'll usually prop it up on a bottle cap or something. And that's it. That's it. Oh, I didn't realize I was off camera again. Okay, I hope this helps. You can leave me questions in the comment, comment box if you have any. Okay, bye-bye.